Alright, welcome to the Machine Hunt Burning Shores Edition. First thing I want to show you guys is the uh, Brimstone, Brimshine rather, trick. Alright, I've gone over this before. Go to a workbench or a shop, uh, do the upgrade mission, make it a job, uh, make the trade offer a job. You don't even have to make it your active one, but that makes it easier to see the locations they're uh, pinging for you. It always pings you the nearest one. Right? Boom. Nearest one is right here. Brimshine. Right? Shows it on the map. You can see it's been on my HUD there the whole time. For reference, uh, there's Fleet's End. Boom. Here, this campfire. I'm going to start with the Tremor Tusk. I'm not going to fight any of the uh, machines we find here except for the uh, Bile Gut. That one's going to get its own video because it's going to be a combat one like their other previous videos have been. But if you want to know how to fight a Tremor Tusk or Thunder Jaw or anything else, just look at my previous videos. Um... I'm mostly just coming here to show you how this location, <laughs> frankly, sucks for fighting the various machines you find here. By the way, that's a location for one of the uh, Pandora figurines. Now, as you can see, the Tremor Tusk here is right there. Let me just unmark that. Right. Tremor Tusk there. This one, unlike the Tremor Tusk sites you find in the main game, uh, you've got one, two, three other long legs here. Which just makes things more complicated. And it's a nastier fight overall. Uh, even fighting two Tremor Tusks isn't so bad. Now, standing up here on this building is actually a pretty decent uh, vantage point to fight them from, but not much room to dodge if something does get up here. So, uh, certainly doable, but I would recommend using the baseline ones. Yeah, there's, a, <laughs> there's a fourth... Four long legs plus the tremor tusk. Potentially get a bunch of wide maws involved, or alternately some uh, water wings. So no, thank you. I'd I'd rather not. Now over here, south of this location, island and a half over, is the tide ripper location. It just sits there, waiting. Makes it easy to shoot the tail off if that's what you're after. Um, the downside is, is that, like in the arena, it's got a pair of snap maws hanging out with it. Um, so not exactly the easiest, but you can stand on the uh, cliff over here. This is a good spot to be uh, to plink away at him. Or just, you know, pick a cliff edge anywhere. I'd recommend that one directly behind the, the Tide Ripper, or the one I'm just passing over right now. That's a good spot as well. Use both of those to shoot at him. He can't dive underwater, which makes it a little easier. Um, but again, you have to fight off a pair of Snap Maws, and there's just the one. So, honestly, I would recommend going to the sites you see on the mainland, either by Tilda's house or the site with four... Uh, in the southeast corner of No Man's Land. Either one will do. Okay, Ravager there. There are no Stormbirds here. I'm gonna run us over here.
All right. So that building right there with the helicopter in it is the one the uh, the Dreadwing hangs off of, but it's on the far side. There is some brimshine right by that helicopter. Again, this is southernmost part of the main island. All right. This is the island you've got to fly over for the uh, the mission to get to the volcano. I honestly flew around it rather than over it, just to be safe, but that was me. So this has got uh, a trio of fire fangs and a trio of uh, burrowers, tracker burrowers. Um, but the arena is actually pretty good. You've got enough cover to duck behind. Um, I would rec recommend using the spawn location... Uh, at the southwest end of No Man's Land, rather than going for this one. Um, faster to get to, easier to get to, no other machines there. Um, but this, I like this one better than the unmarked ones uh, in the mountain, because no Stormbird. Or the unmarked one here at the campfire. Uh, I didn't show you that one in the Dreadwing video because it's not there because I haven't done the Valley of the Fallen mission, but it's still there. But it'll be there once you do that. Uh, so next comes the Thunder Jaws. I'm going to show you a little fun thing. Um, I, I've heard... I've been looking in the forums and a lot of people are going there's not enough brimshine there's not enough brimshine you can't do everything you want and that's a load of bull um there is more than enough brimshine just a lot of it is locked up in chests so keep your eyes open um one of those chests this one will get you five all right so you saw the shelter i chose here's the the thunder draw site there's the, the shelter. You work your way around to the far side, right by the Thunder Jaw. Right? You can do this by by uh, flying as well. But you've got climbing points there. You can see I just zipped past a lot of them. But climb up here. Yada boo. I will admit that the uh, using the flying is a bit faster. Yeah, jump to the left there. Uh, but it's also a bit more hit or miss because you're uh, you got to manage to glide in, and as you can see, you got vines, you got stalactites, or is that stalagmites? I forget which one's from the ceiling. Um, but. There's a, a random chest there, there's a lore bit, and then there's a chest you got to pry open right here, right? Uh, fun thing is that it gives you the uh, toy bow weapon right there. It doesn't do diddly doo da, but you can stick suction cup arrows on people. Right? Now, this location, it's not bad, but it has a major problem. Right. You've got a slaughter spine and a thunder jaw right next to each other. Now the trick I've found at this location is to get the thunder jaw over here. You can see the path it wears. Right? It's worn a path in the ground. My suggestion is use that to your advantage. Lure it over to this side of this rocky section and try to fight it over here. It's a small arena but it gets you away from the slaughter spine. You could also fight it over here. This gives you a lot more room, but there is a chance that the slaughter spine will uh, interfere. Now, the slaughter spine's got a much simpler pattern. As you can see, it's basically just a boat. I think somebody got a little artistic there. Um, but with the slaughter spine, you can lure it over past this tree and fight it on this side of the tree, plenty of cover. And that's a good way to fight it. 
there's no real uh there's no real way to get a height advantage so I I just do not recommend fighting the slaughter spine here at all but unless you're just trying to kill it real fast in which case you know freeze it put it on acid whatever and then kill it all right so lastly there's a bunch of well there's another scorcher site here right and a unmarked fire claw let's go show you guys that all right this is right outside the cauldron fire claw and then there's a scorcher and a pair of glint hawks up the valley all right uh, that door to the cauldron is useless but you can cover that in my uh, upcoming cauldron video so yeah fire claw handy dandy right there do, 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 do. Where is it? Oh, right. So up there is your Slitherfang. Let's do a quick run over. Load this up. Alright. Oops. Take the overland route, it's a little wiggly wiggly. Oops, too far over. There we go. Alright, so this is probably my favorite arena for fighting a Slitherfang. Alright. So, you can end up up there, or on the matching tunnel side over there. Those are both decent spots to snipe at it from once you've got its attention. But as you can see, it's got two three pillars there it can curl around uh, making this a lot easier but the main thing is that he sits right there he's all curled up and he doesn't move right so my suggestion is either sit up here next to the waterfall I recommend this side I'm over right now you've also got some uh, grasses there you can hide in if you need to recoup um, but there's also fewer trees or, so, so we're not staring at his butt, so yeah, that right there, that there's a decent enough spot, although the hill gets in your way, you can get up on these rocks up top, he can't reach you, you're within range of his starting position, so he's not going to run too far, and you can just snipe at him, although occasionally he will run all the way over to these pillars, because they want you to fight here. Now, one of the upsides to this location is that you've got high walls, so anything he that gets launched by his movements after you've knocked it off, like say an earth grinder, uh, isn't going to go too far, right? And okay, there's the river, but it's a very shallow river, and as far as it's concerned, uh, it's only going to drift so far anything you knock off is gonna get stopped. Even if you're fighting him over here in the arena, odds are good that it's gonna get stopped before you reach this little waterfall here. And even if it does go there, you know, you've know you got a clear path as to where it might have drifted. So this is probably my favorite spot to hunt Slitherfangs. Alright, that's all of the, uh, the big bads. Clamber jaws are there. There's lots of lance horns if you need the uh, small cores. Um, the only one left is the bile gut, and that's going to be the next video. So I hope this has helped you guys. Again, I do not recommend fighting any of the machines except for the slither fang here on uh, the burning shores. They're just a pain in the butt, um, but. They could be a lot worse. Again, upside to the the Tremortus is you got four uh, 
Long legs there to provide echo shells. Easy access to both Thunderjaw and Slaughter Spine. Uh, single Tide Ripper, you've got a good defensive position, but you have to deal with Snap Maws as well. And Dreadwing, again, good arena, but you've got a bunch of other machines to take down first. So, make your choice. Make your choice. Good luck, guys. Hope this helped. Ve Victus.